Imran Khan is not just Pakistan's former prime minister. He is, a, you know, a star cricket player. Um, he, he used to play for Pakistan's team. He went to Oxford. I mean, the guy's a movie star. You know, he's really a movie star. Uh, there's no doubt he's very charismatic. He knows how to speak to people. He knows how to, um, you know, uh, appeal to them. Um, and I think it's really disgusting how they're trying to smear him. In Pakistan, if you're convicted of corruption, of terrorism, you are disqualified uh, for life from holding public office. Um, and therefore, you know, they would succeed in, in preventing his return to power. Without a shadow of a doubt, they are trying everything to bar him from holding public office and to bar him from uh, running in this year's election because he would easily, easily, easily win. You know, if you want the will of the people to be implemented, why not call snap elections? Because the vote of no confidence last year, what, you know, came out of the blue. So you got rid of the prime minister, but give, give the people a choice. Give the people a choice. Why won't they let Pakistan vote? Why won't they let Pakistanis vote? It's like he said, he, is, he has the overwhelming support of the people. Let the people have, the, you know, have their say. Imran Khan, he said at the time that the Americans also want to get rid of him. There was a letter that he, he wanted to publish and the high court in Islamabad sealed it, shut, you know, prevented it, uh, said it, it, it's not, he's not allowed to publish it because he, he the prime minister, his, his uh, you know, it's, it's uh, classified. His, he, he wants to publish it and they're, they're saying, no, no, you're not allowed to. <laughs> you know, so he, he wasn't even allowed to, to declassify his own document, which was basically a threat sent to him by the Americans that if you don't do this and that, we're going to get rid of you one way or another. And no prime minister in Pakistan, not a single prime minister in Pakistan's history has been able to serve their full term of five years. It's insane. It's like they either get assassinated, uh, you know, they, they uh, get screwed out by vote of no confidence, like in Imran Khan's case, just, you know, for whatever reason, they just never finish the term, not because they don't want to, but because the situation is so tense um, and the, 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 there's always a real power struggle. Now, Imran Khan, he doesn't come from a powerful political family like, uh, um, you know, Bhutu or, or, uh, uh, or Shabazz. He, he's viewed, you know, they used to call him Mr. Clean because he was like, a, he's a common man. You know, obviously his, his cricket success uh, make, makes him, uh, um, you know, uh, he gives him movie star status. He's very popular. But the fact that he comes from, you know, a humble background, he doesn't come from some elite family. He doesn't come from a political dynasty. And he wanted to, you know, clean up the government. They call him Mr. Clean. And so, you know, I think it's disgusting that they're calling him, uh, um, you know, corrupt and, and all this stuff. It's, it's ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous and fabricated. You know, why, how come none of these cases appeared before, when he was prime minister or before? It, it, it's, they're coming out now because they want to block him from, from um, winning the election. Pure and simple.